In a world where digital payments rely on QR codes, NFC chips, and high-speed internet, imagine a technology that needs none of this. No screens, no scanners, no Wi-Fi, just sound. This isn't science fiction. It's happening right now in India, where a startup called Tone Tag is using ultrasonic waves to revolutionize how we pay. In early 2025, this Bengaluru-based fintech company raised a staggering $77.5 million from global investors, signaling a seismic shift in the future of finance. But how does it work? Why are giants like Amazon and State Bank of India betting on it? And what can entrepreneurs learn from this journey? Welcome to the Indian Startup Garage, your go-to hub for stories behind India's most disruptive startups. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button and join our community of innovators. Now, let's get back to ToneTag's game-changing tech. India's digital payment revolution has been nothing short of extraordinary. UPI transactions crossed 100 billion in 2024 and QR codes are plastered on every straight vendor's card. But beneath this success lies a critical flaw. Connectivity. Over 65% of India's population lives in rural areas where internet access is unreliable at best. Even in cities, QR code and POS terminals demand hardware upgrades that small businesses can't afford. For the elderly or those using feature phones, navigating UPI apps is a challenge. The result? A digital divide that leaves millions behind. Enter Tone Tag, a startup founded in 2013 with a radical idea. What if payments could work like radio waves, invisible, universal and accessible to everyone? Tontag's co-founder Kumar Abhishek realized early that India's fintech boom was built on shaky foundations. We are a country where 30 million people still use feature phones, he said in 2024 interview. If digital payments only work for smartphone users, we are solving half the problem. Tontag solution? A technology that bypasses the internet entirely, using something every phone, smart or not, already has a speaker and a microphone. At its core, Tontax innovation is deceptively simple. When you make a payment, the app converts transaction details like amount, recipient and security pin into encrypted ultrasonic frequencies. These inaudible sound waves travel between devices, even offline. A vendor's low-cost retail pod speaker can hear the payment request, authenticate it via Tontax's cloud backend and complete the transaction in seconds. No QR codes, no NFC chips, no internet required. Think of it like a digital handshake conducted through sound. What sets Tontag apart is its hybrid approach. While competitors like Sonic Pay focus on basic sound-based transfers, Tontag integrates UPI, voice commands, and AI. For example, their voice say UPI feature lets users say, pay 200 rupees to Ramesh stores triggering a secure UPI payment through sound waves. For merchants, the retail pod isn't just a payment tool. It's a mini ERP system, tracking inventory and sales analytics. This dual focus on accessibility and utility has made ToneTag a darling of banks and retailers alike, processing over 30 million transactions daily for partners like ICIC and HDFC and Amazon. But ToneTag isn't just an Indian phenomenon. Their tech works on any device with a speaker, from smartphones to a $20 feature phone. In regions like Africa and Southeast Asia, where internet penetration is low but mobile ownership is high, this could be transformative. As Abhishek noted in a recent webinar, we are not building for India alone. We are building for 3 billion people worldwide who are underserved by traditional fintech. In February 2025, ToneTag announced a $77.5 million Series B2 round led by ValueQuest and Iron Pillar, catapulting its valuation to nearly $300 million. To understand why investors are bullish, we need to look at three factors – timing, traction, and territory. Number 1. Timing India's fintech sector is booming, but investors are shifting focus from growth at all costs to sustainable models. 
Don't tax asset light B2B SaaS approach that is charging banks and merchants for API access aligns perfectly. As Liveman reported in 2025, profitability is the new mantra for Indian startups and tone tag has been a bit positive since 2023. Number two, traction. Tone tag's partnerships are staggering. They power sound based payments for India's largest private bank that is HDFC, its biggest e-commerce platform that is Amazon, and even government initiatives like UPI 123 Pay. With 1.2 million merchants onboarded and transactions growing 200% year on year, the startup has moved beyond potential to proven scale. Number three is territory. Investors aren't just funding an Indian startup, they are funding a global gateway. Tontag's recent expansion into UAE and Brazil highlights its ambition to dominate emerging markets. Iron Pillars Anand Prasanna summed it up. Tontag's tech isn't a novelty. It's the missing link for financial inclusion worldwide. India's fintech space is crowded, cutthroat and dominated by giants. Paytm, PhonePay and Razorpay collectively control 80% of the UPI market. So how is Tontag not just surviving but thriving? The answer lies in collaboration, not competition. Instead of building yet another UPI app, Tontag positioned itself as an enabler. Their API lets existing players like PhonePay add sound-based payments to their apps, reaching offline users without reinventing the wheel. For banks, Tontag's retail pod is a low-cost alternative to expensive POS terminals. This win-win strategy has turned competitors into collaborators. As TechStory noted, Tontag isn't fighting the fintech wars, it is arming both sides. Tontag's ties to regulators have also been crucial. By working closely with the RBI and NPCI, they have embedded their tech into national initiatives like UPI 123Pay. This government backing isn't just a stamp of approval, it's a moat against rivals. Tontag's journey from a bootstrapped startup to a fintech heavyweight offers masterclasses in resilience and innovation. Here are three lessons every entrepreneur should steal. Number one, solve the invisible problem. Don't tag, didn't chase flashy trends like metaverse payments. Instead, they asked, what's holding back the next billion users? For India, it was connectivity and cost. By solving these invisible barriers, they tapped into a $500 billion market others overlooked. Number two, partner. Don't pivot. When UPI exploded, Tontag could have pivoted to building a consumer app. Instead, they doubled down on B2B partnerships, letting giants handle customer acquisition while they focused on infrastructure. As your story reported, this asset light model saved them from cash burn plaguing rivals. Number three, built for regulatory tailwinds. From India's Digital India campaign to UAE's cashless vision, Tontag aligned its roadmap with government priorities. This isn't smart, it's survival. In regulated sectors like fintech, swimming with policy tide is the only way to scale. Tontag's story is more than a startup success. It's a blueprint for inclusive innovation. In a world obsessed with AI and blockchain, they have proven that sometimes the simplest solutions are the most revolutionary. So what do you think? Could sound-based payments go mainstream? Would you trust a hum to handle your money? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this deep dive, hit like, subscribe to the Indian Startup Garage and ring the bell for more stories from Startup Frontier. Until next time, stay curious. See ya.